Good morning guys, another day, another snowfall, which is beautiful, but I'm running late. Ugh. So in shutting my door, I just got snow all over me. Fantastic. I'm running a little bit, l oh, I need to put the directions in. I don't know where I'm going. Sometimes I get in the car and I just think, let's just go. And then I realize, Joel, you're not in London anymore. You don't know where you're going. I'm a little bit nervous, guys, because I'm not used to driving in the snow or ice or anything and I would must say a mini is not the best in it either so oh I can feel the tires slipping our road here is completely covered in snow so I'm gonna have to go slowly anyway sorry guys welcome back it's a new day it's uh I can't guarantee that today will be that interesting actually because it's the first day where I don't have a lot on. I've got a lot on this morning. I'm just on my way to another house viewing and that was supposed to be at 10.45 but then Leah has booked us a meeting with a company at 11. So I've moved my viewing till 10. The estate agent was like, that's fine, there's just someone else viewing it at 10 as well. So I'll be viewing it with a stranger. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I'll rush back home do the meeting at 11 and then I'll probably be spending the rest of the day with Keegan. He's got piano lessons so I'll probably go with him and wait in the car or go for a walk and then we're gonna go shopping then we'll pick up the kids from school. Uh, I think we're gonna, gonna go do some work in Starbucks as well. Anyway I'm really excited about this house today. It's probably my favourite one that I've been most excited to see. Um, that said because of that I'll probably hate it. Isn't it always the way? It's the ones that you think you're gonna love that you hate and the ones that you think you hate that you love. I've decided the two houses I viewed the other day, I'm not gonna put an offer in on either of those for various reasons, mainly financial reasons. Like I, I loved that first property. It's, it's a lot of square footage for your money, like double the size of the other one I viewed that day. But I think that would just, it would take a lot more money. As this is my first project, I just want it to be as easy as possible. I think I didn't, maybe I didn't fully explain because I did see a few comments this morning as well being like, what, I don't understand, you've just moved in with Keegan, what's going on? I thought it was clear in the video that it was an investment property, but maybe not. I've been looking to invest in property for over a year now. I started doing viewings maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, oh, not a year and a half ago, last Christmas, the Christmas before last, with my parents down south. And so I've been looking for a while, I've been saving, I've been learning, I've been enrolling on a property course, I've been eat, sleep and breathing stuff to do with property. It was just a coincidence that I started looking on my first proper day in Yorkshire. Keegan said to me, he was like, oh, you don't let the dust settle, do you? And I was like, that's classic me, I just, I'm impulsive and it, once I've set my mind to do something, I do it. It's mainly also because I'm trying to keep busy for this first week while I'm settling. I'm like, I just want to be busy. So I'll just book in some viewings. So that's why, but yeah, this property is not for me to live in. If anything, it's for me to make content, guys. Cause I'm like, imagine the content. I can take you every day or lots of days. I'll be driving to my, my property and I'll be like, guys, today we're stripping wallpaper. Today we're repainting. Today we're ripping up carpets. Today we're doing this. And I will like document the whole process. So I'm like, it's content for my YouTube channel. So really, I should think of it as a business expense, a very large <laughs> business expense. Also, the boring financial reasons behind it as well is that I don't have a pension and I don't want a pension. So obviously as someone self-employed who has never properly had an employer, well, I have had employers, but never for a long enough time or being paid enough for a, a pension contribution to make any difference. I don't know if it's the same anywhere else, but in the UK, as I understand it, if you work for someone, for a company, they will pay you and pay into your pension. And so it's a little bit of a perk. I've never had that, so I don't have a pension. And I do have an option of getting sort of a pension savings account where I can put money away tax-free every year up to a certain amount. But then the, the thing is I can't access that money until I retire, so when I'm 65, 70, whatever it may be. That to me is very scary. I'm like, why would I give away some of my earnings in exchange for what? good interest rate but then I can't access it until I'm you know a lot older so yeah I I basically am in the minority where I just think pensions are a scam I think if you work for a company fine but as a self-employed person I'm like no I'm not I'm not gonna put away money I want to be able to access my money at all times my goal is that my pension is going to be property so I do feel the time ticking a little bit where I'm like okay I do need to like start building a bit of a property portfolio because that will be the money that I will retire on one day. I'm just being sensible. Oh my gosh guys, 
So I think what I'm waiting for is that feeling and you know that feeling you get when you're looking for your own house and you're like, oh, I love it. And like you can look around some and you go, they're good, but for some reason I don't feel anything. Well, I was hoping so far that I would have that feeling about this place. And so far I have this, and maybe it's the snow that makes all the difference, but guys, this is a lot closer to the city center than either of the other two properties. And it's like 20,000 pounds cheaper which I think, to be honest, they've priced it low to get people in a bidding war. That is what I think. And I refuse to be broiled, embroiled in a, in a bidding war. I'm not doing it. Oh my gosh, guys, I love it. I mean, I'll show you some of the videos I got here. As you can see, it's very dated. It's like a time warp. It's uh, very, is that 70s or maybe 60s? I mean, it is very, very sad. Like um, someone's mum lived there. So it's the children that own it now, I think. And um, their mum passed away. And it's just like, I can't help as an empathetic person to get involved emotionally. So I was just looking around being like, oh my gosh, this is someone's mum's house. And I saw her nursing uniform hung up still. And I was just like, Ugh. and then I was like, Joel, no, you're here. You know, you need to view it in a, cold way um but i can't help but feel for the people but anyway it's a lovely lovely house i get really good feelings from it it's like a good from what i've seen there's like no mold there's no like huge structural issues although i'm not a structural engineer my dad's a structural engineer so i'll leave that to him but yeah he said it's already been sold twice but it's been going through probate so people have pulled out and things and uh yeah i think they're pretty booked with viewings today so i imagine i mean the other two properties i saw have been on the market for months this one it just seemed i get the vibe that it's going to go quite quickly so yeah i don't know i really like it so i just need to talk to my parents now about the next step just to be clear i'm using my own money for this <laughs> i'm not like asking bank of mum and dad to buy me a house that's not it it's just um I run everything past my parents and, you know, especially my dad because he works in property. So, um, yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I'd want to make an offer. But I just, I need to go back to my laptop and like run some more figures because uh, he gave me some ideas of the potential rental if it was a two bed and if, uh, if I then change the layout to make it a three bed, it could reach a bit of a higher yield. So I just need to do some costs. But anyway, time to go home, have this meeting. Oh, they were sharing a bed. It was so cute. Hey everyone, I'm in Keegan's car now. Um, he's in piano. He should finish in five minutes time. I've just been for a walk around the block, 25 minute walk. And um, I'm now getting my laptop out to do a little bit of work to do with this house. Guys, I love this house. I want this house. I need this house. This is the one for me. Sorry about my dirty laptop. I've been in touch with a few mortgage people. Um, I've gotten some finances back. I'm just gonna log on to my spreadsheet, which is very fancy. Basically, all the cells are kind of linked to each other, so I can just change like the purchase price and they'll come up with profit margins. Yeah, I've been told about the rental value and stuff, so I just need to, I've been told how much a mortgage a month will cost me by one mortgage broker, but I've got a call with one tonight at five, at five o'clock and then one tomorrow at 1 p.m. just to get some more sort of info from people and find the best rate really but yeah I'm so excited I mean I hope I get it this is the thing I get too emotionally involved as an investment I should be a cold-hearted little bitch do you know what I mean I should be going no cool yep I can make a profit yep no minute I'm gonna make you a really low offer I'm gonna spend as little as possible on it I'm gonna do it up and rent it for as high as possible I should be doing that but that's not me firstly I want to be passionate about the project so I want to be excited about the house and secondly I want to do it nicely I want to like obviously I, I don't want to go overboard and spending things but I want to be a good homeowner and I or homo <laughs> me and Lucy would call each other homos like short for homeowner but obviously it sounds like homosexual. So we're like, oh, I can't believe we're homos. <laughs> anyway, um, I get so distracted, guys. I wanna be a good landlord as well. So yeah, I just wanna care about the projects that I do. Whereas I feel like the stereotype of property investors is that they just don't care about anything except money. And I'm trying to find the balance between being good with the money side of things and making sure it does make a profit because ultimately I don't want to lose money and waste money, but also caring about what I'm doing. So um, anyway, so excited. Hopefully I've texted the estate agent and said, I want to put an offer in. I'm just chatting to mortgage people. I'll be in touch tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see. I'll be devastated if I don't get this house, but I also have to remember 
that there are loads of houses, like loads of houses, like I should not have a scarcity mindset. There is an abundance of houses and if it's not this one, there'll be another one. But please be this one. Kiki Wiggy's back from his piano lesson. Kiki Wiggy. <laughs> How was it? Yeah, insightful. Um, we're doing music of the night from Phantom of the Opera. Oh, nice. I like how you say that, like, you're not fed up with me playing it. Yeah, I'm treated to a rendition of that every evening about ten times. Yeah, well, practice makes perfect, Joe. It does. Pity you're not there yet. Yeah, not yet, but, you know, progress, not perfection. Exactly. Mm. You should get that on a t-shirt and send it to your clients. Mm. Mm. I should. Yeah. We're just off now to go and do a bit of shopping. How interesting. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a food shop. Obviously, as you guys know, we're doing Gusto, so we don't need a full shop, just a few bits and bobs. Do they know that we're doing Gusto? Yeah. I've shared that with them. Yeah. How do you feel about people just knowing things because you're, on, you're dating a vlogger? I honestly couldn't care less if anybody knows that I'm doing Gusto. Okay, oh, that's good. <laughs> See, the way you said it, I was like, oh no, does he, does he mind? No, I was like, is that a, a pivotal detail that people want? Oh, yeah. Things to know about Joel, he's 31, he is boyfriend to Keegan Hurst, he has moved from London and he's doing Gusto. How are you finding Gusto? I'm really enjoying it, I enjoyed cooking yesterday. Did you? Yeah, and I think it just makes it so much easier, because the recipes are all decided, all the ingredients is delivered. Less thinking. Less thinking. Which is what we all want. Yeah, I hate using my brain. Um, I know. <laughs> Keegan carries this relationship. I don't think that's true or fair, Joel. Well, thank you. But yeah, and then we might, if we've got time, we're gonna go starry bees, aren't we? And you've got some editing to do. I'm gonna do some editing because I'm a vlogger, so there, there. Keegan is now a vlogger, so uh, yeah, go watch his vlogs. Part-time. Part-time vlogger, whereas I'm full-time. I'm more than full-time at the minute. I'm like, eat, sleep, breathing. Eat, sleep, vlog, repeat. Yes, literally. So this camera just does not leave my body. Um, but that's okay. Um, When's your own film start? Do you know what? Yesterday on my story, when I shared that I got scouted by a model, model scout, the majority of messages were going, oh yeah, they were just looking for porn actors. Yeah, no, that was someone's only fan. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Like, I know it wasn't. It wasn't just a random man. It was a man in like a proper coat that was like branded with the agency logo. And there was a few of them dotted around, so. Only fans people can wear suits. I know. Well, probably not for the entirety of the video. Because no. it would kind of defy the It would defeat object the object of, of what that. they're doing, yeah. But either way, I haven't heard from them. They didn't take any pictures of me there. They just said someone will be in touch and then you'll submit photos, but no one's been in touch, so I guess I'm not gonna be a model after all. Oh dear. Which is sad. I had dreams of, you know, moving to the big city Leeds and becoming Leeds next top model. Yeah. But it hasn't happened. Mm. Oh well. One day you might be on the fragrance like me. Yeah, that's true. Keegan has, you had to drop that in there, didn't you? I did, yeah. Keegan, uh, lest anybody forget, was on a, he did an Abercrombie shoot and they put him on a perfume bottle and he gave both, there was two of them, yes. he gave them to me. I actually really no, liked the Abercrombie there was more than set. two bottles with my face on it. Oh, I thought they were just custom made for you. No. Do they sell like, them? It was a whole campaign. Oh, so do they sell them? Yes. So there are random people throughout the world who have you on their bottle? Yeah, they didn't just ask me, I was, it wasn't just me, there was numerous people who did the fierce yeah. Abercrombie campaign and um, you know there was uh, Megan Rapinoe a famous uh, football player yeah. in America, um, I, that, what's that skier one, that gay guy? No idea. Yeah you do. Gay ski. oh, um, he's friends with Colton. Gus Kenworth. That's it. That one. Yeah, great the, teeth. There was lots of teeth. There was loads, there was a few, few people who did it. So yeah, it was like a proper campaign. It wasn't just a, oh, uh, we'll, oh, give we'll put you on a bottle. bottle. That's why, no, I knew you did a shoot with them and I thought that that was, was used, but then I thought as a bonus, it would be like in a gift bag where they're like, we put you on a, on a bottle. No, they didn't, we did it all in Abercrombie clothes and I was, I, I took a big bag. I went to LA for through, like, I was there for a full day. Mm -hmm. That was it. In, sleep, up, shoe, wow. home, back to the Easy. hotel, home. When was that? 2000, 2019, just wow. not long before COVID. That's so cool. And I was like, 
I'm going to be getting loads of Abercrombie clothes. I yeah. took a full bag, empty bag, so I could fill oh, it up for the way back. And they didn't. Nothing. That's, but you know what? That's classic. Every time I've worked for a brand, they're like, oh my gosh, do you get, like, with Dove Men, they're like, oh my gosh, do you get lifetime supply of Dove Men? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't even get one bottle. Nothing. I did actually steal some boxer shorts because I needed to wear boxes, and I was like, I'm not taking these off. Yeah, no, no one would want them that. anyway. Oh, actually, someone might. Someone would. Anyway, you're a very handsome man, so no wonder you got an Abercrombie shoot. That tenor was very well worth. That tenor? Oh yeah, I just oh saw. Oh my god. Sorry, my brain is not, guys, my brain is not with it at the moment because I'm putting it down to the move. I, uh, and I, I'll blame the move for the next year. You'll be like, Joel, you've been there 12 months, how are you still blaming the move? What but, about the past 31 years? Well, you haven't known me for 31 years, so you- Well, I've known you for mm, almost a year. And yeah, you've not been with it then and you've not recently moved, so. Well guys, just finished up at Aldi. What were we saying? We're just talking about modeling. Um, what the th what happened? I got a call in Aldi from the modeling agency saying, can you come in for a test shoot? So I said, maybe next week, honey. Guys, I'm wearing my Timberlands today. If any of you are loyal, you know, I bought these in Canada with Leah. This is the first time I'm wearing them in the UK. One more and then I'm not eating any more of these. I'm a model now. Did you tell him that? Yeah. You know they said, they said that he'd not, they'd not rung him back. They've rung him twice, he'd just not answered the phone. I don't answer unknown numbers and then I was like, it it's Manchester number, number. number. Yeah, but it's not in my phone. Well, how can new people ever ring you then? They can't, that's the point. Unless I'm expecting a call. We were. I was expecting an email. Anyway, it was a Manchester number and Keegan was like, that could be a modeling agency. So I called them back and they just wanted to book me in for a test shoot this weekend and I was like, well, I could maybe do Sunday. What, are, we, what are you modeling for? I don't know, I'm gonna check next time because after it came off the phone, she didn't even tell me the name of the agency. So I'm gonna check. She said she'll call me on Monday to book me in for next week. So I'm gonna say, what's the name of your agency? Because I've Googled the number and the number doesn't come up with anything. So I'm like, what is this? So I'm gonna just ask. call them back and say, Again, and just say oh, I've had a missed call off somebody, mm. um, and then when they say they are just ask them there. Yeah, it could be dodge, but it could be it's, legit. Well, it's well dodge. It is well dodge. But hey, if it turns me into Kate Moss, I don't mind. You don't quite have the gap in your teeth, though. So we've just dropped Fletcher off at football, and um, Keegan said he was coming, and we just, just agreed that I'd come as well and go for a walk. And Keegan was like, oh, I'm going to listen to an audiobook. And I was like, oh, so shall I, shall I not come? And he was like, no, come walk with me, but I'm going to listen to an audiobook. So he's got his ears in already. You can't see they're under his hat, but he has his earphones in already. He's probably listening to the audiobook I'm not. already. Joe, <laughs> did you want to go for a walk to get your steps in? Yeah, I did. Right, so what are we doing? What we're doing is we're, we're making a little joke uh, about how... I've never been for a walk with someone where they're wearing earphones. But I have bought my own earphones because go I'm going to listen to something. You go that way and I'll go this way. Oh, I could get murdered. I am very lucky and things do work out my way. Don't manifest me getting murdered. That's you, can't, you, to, you taught me that you can't manifest things for other people. No, but you can manifest things for yourself, aka me disappearing. I would not benefit from that. No, you wouldn't. You'd be very lonely. I'd be very sad. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a lovely little walk. I actually really, really enjoyed our walk with me listening to a podcast and Keegan listening to his audiobook. And it was just nice. We just walked around listening to our things and it was just really nice. So we'd actually recommend doing that. It's a good way to spend quality time without having to talk all the time. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. I post videos every single week, every single day at the moment. I've got something really exciting on Saturday. We are going to Harry Potter studio tour. So I am so excited for that. Um, so stay tuned. That'll be the best vlog of the week, I'm sure. But yeah, anyway, thanks for joining and I'll see you soon. Bye.